Dependent group contingencies are a thing of pain. They're evil. They're awful. But they're fun. <laughs> Imagine the whole group, the consequences for an entire group, being dependent on the behavior of one person. So, classroom, as long as little Johnny behaves well today, <laughs> and of course you have to define what behaving well means, but as long as Johnny de de behaves well today, then y'all get recess. If not, you don't. Um, mm, it reminds me a lot of the days when I went to ba in basic training. <laughs> that was one large dependent group contingency. One person screwed up, y'all got punished. That's all there was to it. Um, so uh, that was really fun. Um, and of course, then there was individual punishers and returned and on personal level from all the people that you just got in trouble because you didn't fold your laundry, right? And maybe I'm telling a personal story that I shouldn't be telling on the camera anymore. Anyway, um, dependent group contingencies, it's a way to manage behavior of large groups of people. And really what it does is it helps the group manage the behavior of the one. Uh, so you're using multiple sources of control to help um, influence behavior of one person. So anyway, it's all understood. Dependent group contingencies.